Good morning. I just got gas. I haven't slept. It's 7.14 a.m. There's a car behind me. Bye. Good morning vlog. This is how I spend my Saturday nights. It's 9.20 p.m. And we're going to start the day. My routine is a little figgity fucked up. Um, if you know, you know. I've just never really been able to be a person who processes on a normal human functioning daytime schedule. It's part of the mental illness. And I don't say that in like a cute quirky way. Like I literally, I wish a scientist could like really like dig deep and pick my brain and like, you know what, I'm gonna shut up. All right, first things first, I gotta go feed my cats. Um, you might be thinking, Chris, do you have a cat? No, I don't. But I feed the strays outside. <laughs> And it's like, you're not supposed to do that, but I'm doing it. And if you follow me along on TikTok, um, I have one that is close to my heart and I've named it Soy Sauce. It's a black kitty. It slowly worked into a relationship and now it lets me pet it. I'm planning on taking it to the vet to see if it has a home, to see if it's chipped or what's the dealio. Um, because if so, I'll totally leave it alone. It literally, you know, I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna steal someone's cat. But if it needs a home because it's a little chilly outside, um, I might just be that person. I might be its new mama. So let me go set my food out because it comes back like every two hours. I've been doing this for like a few weeks now and uh, I'm gonna shut up. So let's go do that. shower um i don't know if you can tell but i haven't done that in quite a while <laughs> ah! let's go get ready i literally have been smelling my own filth it's bad it's bad okay so this is actually my first time showering with my extensions out I also i got my eyebrows tinted the other day so a little dark but my hair is so short very short what are we gonna do about it nothing but cry but it's gonna feel so good this is gonna be my first shower since july just like Really getting in there. Wait, I should totally do some pre-shower hair care. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. Let's do it. First things first, I got this on Amazon. I'll link it below. Normally I'd be in the shower, but we're doing it here. I'm gonna take this and uh, damp my hair because we're gonna put a hair mask on. Whoa, I didn't know it came out that bit. Hello. Okay. Okay, now that my hair is nice and damp, kind of, I don't know, I can't really tell. I don't know, I want the shit to grow. If you go back to my old videos, like, you know that I have the potential to have long hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this Redken Invasive Treatment, and we're gonna put that everywhere. Why? Because I said so. Oh, sorry. I actually, let me try and make my video a little more calming. Let me stop yelling, because there's nothing to yell about. I'm gonna be gentle on my channel. Bitch. Because Kama is my boyfriend. <laughs> Now we're gonna wait 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, but look what I found that I'm finally gonna use from Amazon. It's a scalp massager. Not gonna lie, when I first got it, I was like, this is kind of dumb. What? But okay. But um, 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 now that I don't have hair extensions, it's gonna feel amazing. And apparently I've always heard that like massaging your scalp like does increases the blood flow like for your hair follicles, which is like helps them grow and stuff. Don't quote me on that, but you know, if I hear it once, I'm gonna believe it, so. <laughs> and it's pink. I'll link it below. And all these like aesthetic bitches on TikTok use it. But I was like, do they really use that every day or just when they're filming? Like, come on. Come on now. To be real. Oh, oh, right. Holy, 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 holy. They are so holy. Bye. See, I'm about to get in the shower and my cat is there being fed. That is soy sauce. He's a good boy, girl. I don't know what it is yet. I have to take it to the vet. <gasps> you can hear me. Soy sauce. Why are you so scared of me? Baby, did that feel good? Oh, it's falling. Okay. Um, for some reason I'm splotchy all right here, but I'm not getting in there and scrubbing again because I'm lazy and I'm gross. Got my microfiber hair towel and um, squeaky clean. 10 p.m. on a Saturday. Let's rock it. I always have a lot of spray tan in my ears, which is something you probably don't think about. Ow. Why do I like dread doing this? What? Like it's hard. Men's deodorant because I'm really extra stinky, so I need all the help I can get. <laughs> and I did this last video, but hello. Yeah, you saw that? This is the Elemis Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. And guess what? I'm using it at night because this is my daytime. What are you going to do about it? Absolutely fucking nothing. That's what I thought. Oh, what a And then I'm going to use the serum. Ow. Uh, 
I just read that I'm supposed to use serum before the moisturizer. Oops, I haven't been doing that. Um, I'll start. <laughs> well, now you know. You're welcome. Not bad. And then I use the eye mask. Shit. The LMS under eye mask. And this shit feels so good. Oh, baby. <laughs> just like that. We're still ugly. <laughs> Do it. Dermatologica to lock it all in. I just went and applied my aftershave oil that I use every time after I shave my legs, which I'm not kidding, I'm really not just saying this, is once a month at most, if even. I would get Brazilian waxes every six weeks, and I felt like I got those more often than I shaved my legs. And that's telling you about that. Especially now that it's winter time coming up, ooh, it gets bad. And it's not that I like just don't have hair, I do. It's like thick, dark, black, I just don't care. No one really sees it, ever. Um, I don't go anywhere where you'd see my leg hair. It's like no one's looking at your legs, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I shaved them and then I used the Truly Beauty after shave oil. What am I doing now? Oh, I really need to clean off my bathroom sink, but I put that off every day. I haven't done that once since I moved in because I just like avoid this room, my master bedroom. I never come in here. I shower in here, grab my clothes, and that's it. Like I never, just because I feel like there's more bugs in here than any other room, but maybe there's more bugs because I'm never in here. So they moved in, but um, I don't know. We're gonna fix that, so. It just needs a big deep cleaning and I vacuumed up a bunch of spiders and I need to clean the drains. I think I have like gnat, like a fly gnat problem in my sewage pipe drain, so. I've been like putting bleach in hot water to kill them. Uh, it's gross. And then I have that this noise that you probably hear. It's like this little catchy bug thing. Um, you know, we're just living, laughing, loving out here. So we do what we can. I just hate doing laundry, okay? I don't mind it. I just have a lot of it. Well, I feel like I wear the same shirt like three days in a row now, but I used to be so... If it was on me for five minutes, it was dirty. But that was like when I was younger and like my mom did my laundry. And I think that's just like how she raised me to be. Anytime I try and put something back on, she's like, Chrissy, that's dirty. Now that I'm older and I guess I know that I'm the one doing the washing. I'm like, no, it's not. And until it has like, I will wear something with a stain on it until it smells or good. <laughs> Yeah, I feel squeaky clean. I'm just doing a little laundry. Let's see. Let's get it to time check. It's 1044. I just made a TikTok talking about my pill-induced esophagitis that I have. As when I swallow my antidepressant, sometimes it feels like I have holes, like literally burning holes in my throat. And it's an actual thing. And I was on an acid reflux medication. And then we switched my medication and then blah, blah, blah. But it's just an ongoing constant battle that I deal with every day of my life. It's really rough. Even before I got veneers, like my dentist would always be like, you have a lot of acid, like damage on your teeth and i was like yeah i threw up a lot not because of that but um because every single time that i drink i literally every single time i have alcohol i get sick and i throw up if i eat too much like i get heartburn every time i brush my teeth when i swallow pills um so i just am not blessed with a very good stomach esophagus system um but it could be worse you know at least i'm breathing so that's what i like to think about love laundry um, yeah, you know what? My ass is dehydrated. So, oh my god, it smells like shit in here. My fridge smells terrible. Don't look at it. Don't look at the mess. Pretend I'm organized and aesthetic. <sighs> so I'm about to be listing a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark. My stomach still hurts from swallowing that pill wrong. Ooh, I'm so squeaky clean. <laughs> Chile, my leg hair is already growing back. Um, anyways, I'm about to list a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark. So what I need to do is go on to USPS.com and I order free boxes because they're free. They just sometimes take a long time to come and I wanna go, I'd hate to go ahead and like list stuff for people to buy and then not have boxes to send it out in. So you get free shipping supplies. Only certain ones, it's gotta be the right one. How? Oh yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. I love fudge pops, okay? I'm not like a huge dessert person, but I fuck with a fudge pop. Ah! And yes, I'm biting it. I have like a routine. I suck some of it, I bite some of it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna watch Love is Blind season three, and I have three huge boxes of revolved clothes. And normally I unbox those on TikTok, but I'm just, I don't know, I feel like I've been doing way too many unboxings and it's just like, I know like the OGs know, but it just gives, you know, I don't care what anyone thinks, but I don't know. I'm just going to unbox the clothes and then put outfits together and stuff instead of unboxing it on a TikTok. So yeah, let me go do that. Okay. So I just moved my big mirror down here because I'm feeling, I just want to do it in my living room. I don't want to be upstairs. My TV's down here and I feel lonely. So I have, can you see these big ass boxes? I have one. I have one, two, three, and then I already opened one and it had all this in it. Full of clothes. So I'm gonna try them all on. And these are clothes um, that I share with y'all and then I link them and it helps me out, help you out through my ambassador links. So if you like any of them, I post them and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna try them on, okay? And I'm watching Love is Blind season three. Sorry to my ex, you deserve more.
upstairs and put in my after shower hair care um sorry i didn't vlog it but i am obsessed with short hair this short hair and this is like the shortest my hair has ever been and it's like i would even be okay with cutting it shorter and i've never really liked short hair at least not on me like i just feel like i've always thought like long hair was prettier on me but i can't escape this feeling like this feels unbelievable because even before i had extensions i had hair to here and so i've always like had long mane to take care of and this just feels insane do i miss my long hair yeah do i like the way my long hair looks yeah but this feeling whoo it's unbreakable and like it'll go back maybe if i stop bleaching it but it'll go back <laughs> Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, meeting the parents, meeting the grandparents. So cute. And I think I know what I'd wear it with. Okay, I'm gonna try these shorts with these boots. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. Oh, caught it. I just tripped over the rug. Maybe? Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I've had that blasting the whole time, but I can't do this in silence. I can't let my thoughts run. Honestly, this is what the website model had on, so that's where I stole this idea from. Like, to a T, and I'm not digging it. And I'm really burning it up in this. Yeah, no. I think it's just me. It's just my body. I love that. Um, okay. Holy cow, I can't breathe in this thing. This thing is, like, the neck is so tight. Whoa. Oh. This is literally me trying to get this dress off my head. As you can see, I do a lot of bouncing around. I just tried on a shit ton of clothes. I didn't even show you all of them, but that took me so long. Um, my kitty came back. We got through, I think, two episodes of Love is Blind, so I guess that took an hour. And my hair is like, I guess since it's so short, my whole life my hair has taken so long to dry. Like, I go to sleep with it wet and it's still wet. And I've never had it this short and it's literally dry. So I'm like, wait, let me Dyson it because I've been so excited to use the Dyson Air Wrap without my extensions in because I haven't like loved it and I think it's because it's hard to do with extensions just because like your hair texture and the fake hair texture isn't the same. So that's what I'm gonna do. Wish me luck. Cause I don't even like ever blow dry, so. <clears throat> First I'm using this Moroccan Ol heat protectant. Cause Kame is my boyfriend. Oh no, not as already getting little squiggly wigglies. Woo, mama. So I guess this is when it's naturally starting to dry ass, but we're going to uh, blow dry that hoe. Yep, yep, yep. By the way, I'm absolutely starving, but I don't want my hair to dry. Thinking I'm gonna heat up a Hot Pocket. Fudge bar and Hot Pocket, I'm doing great. Setting great examples. I'm just being real. Okay. I'm always scared to brush my hair wet because I feel like that's when it comes out. So I'm being a wee, wee wee, gentle. Ooh, got my tripod in the way. How y'all doing? Hello?
shit job, Ailey. I really have no fucking hair. Like none. Zip. Zero. None. I'm bald. Yeah. Oh no, we changing heads, bro. We changing heads. <laughs> front pieces and like roll them up here blow dry it out and make them voluptuous i know what i need to do i'm just lazy oh my god that's terrifying that means that someone's at my front door it's 1 30 oh it's another kitty it's not soy sauce but it's i have two i have three kitties that i feed probably not good but maybe their owner should feed them better we okay so here i am Ugh. why are you so high up <clears throat> still low but this is the last time I'm getting up. Okay, hoes. Side part nation. So I have my five cheese hot pocket. My hair is so short. Literally shoulder length. What are we gonna do? And this is old ranch. Um, I don't remember where it's from. I think Outback. And I sprinkled crushed red peppers on it. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, love. All right, love this one. Let's go. Overall thoughts so far, it's okay. Would I go on it? Sure. If, if Walt wasn't in the picture, of course. But I've watched all the seasons and there's never been anyone on there that I think that like I'd blend with. So I don't think the casting would like truly be able to find someone as fucking weird as me. You know? Grab the witch's broom. I don't know what I'm gonna be for Halloween. I don't think I'm gonna be anything. And I've never not been anything, even if I just dressed up for a picture. And I have like no desire at all this year, none. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, you know what? Hey, didn't see you there. Currently 2.30 a.m. and I'm actually editing this video right now. Happy Sunday night, Monday morning. I'm putting under eye patches on because I haven't worked out in a long time. So it's making me feel really weird. Like I feel tired and I'm literally walking, but like keep in mind, I have not done anything and I don't eat healthy. I don't drink water. I don't, I treat myself like shit, but we're switching that around. Every time I put these on, people are like, you're wearing them backwards. And I always prove them wrong. Why the fuck would you wear the big side little? It literally, if you Google it, it's the shape of your under eyes. So you follow it. Um, anyways, I've been nipping, so I just put this on. This is from Distressed Vintage Couture. Super cutie. We're living, laughing, loving them. So yeah, I'm editing. At 2 a.m. on my desk treadmill. Yeah. Hi. Also, I got this bad baby from Amazon, so I'll link this below in the desk riser, because you know they have standing desks, but I didn't want to buy an entire new desk, so I just bought the riser because my desk is so cute. So I bought this riser, and I had, I didn't even ask the guy to assemble it, but I, I ordered, I hired a, a guy on TaskRabbit to do like assemble stuff for me, and then he just, I was paying attention, and he did this for me, and I didn't even realize, like, oh, I'm glad he did, because I probably would have been fucked. And then the treadmill, I just had to turn it on. I did have to carry it up the stairs by myself. Cool. And it was hard, uh, as you saw, but uh, this is the life, baby. Hold on tight. This is the dream. You're all I need. You never know where you're. Okay. Soy sauce. My best DSDSD. Who thinks I'm kidnapping it? Hey.